I dropped them off today. They're safe. One day after a deadly police shooting at a summer camp, parents returned to drop off their children. What has been revealed today about that investigation and the man Duncanville police shot. And where were Texas DPS troopers when the gunman was inside Robb Elementary School in Uvalde? Well, today, the dispute over the agency's response. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us here at 5. I'm Nicole Baker. I'm Ken Molestina in for Doug this evening. This is CBS 11 News at 5 o'clock. I want to begin in Duncanville tonight, where today investigators have identified the man who exchanged gunfire with officers inside of a packed summer camp at the Duncanville Fieldhouse. Officers have ID'd the man for us tonight. Our Steve Pickett spent the morning working to learn more about him. He's with us live with new information this hour. Hey, Steve. Hi, Nicole. Ken, uh, his name is Brendan Ned. He's 42 years of age. We know he spent time in prison over a decade ago uh, for intoxication manslaughter. Uh, I am told that he entered this field house here in Duncanville yesterday uh, looking for a woman, a woman who actually may have been with him in his car at this location here on Monday. Today, children and young adults who heard and witnessed the danger that Mr. Ned brought to this location, well, they today have to live with the emotional impact of it all. From the minute that gunman entered the facility, they were interacting with AmeriCorps members. Kevin Vigneer's Equal Heart Group provided camp counselors, AmeriCorps members, for Duncanville's summer camp campaign inside the city-owned Duncanville Fieldhouse. 20 of the 40 AmeriCorps camp counselors inside the Fieldhouse on Monday moved to the city rec center today to serve children, children who face that Fieldhouse shooting. When the gunman turned his attention to the three to four year old classroom where his uh, the person he was looking for was hiding, we had 10 AmeriCorps members in that room. These were young people who were having to show three year olds. Duncanville police detailed a multi officer response to 911 calls from that field house. They say Ned fired one round inside the complex, then targeted another shot at a classroom window where children were hiding. Ned died after police found him in the facility's gymnasium. Today, families with children who faced that gunfire on yesterday returned to the temporary camp at the rec center. Well, as a father, you know what I mean? You, you ain't gonna never be, feel good about your son coming to an environment like this, but, you know, given the situation and the times we live in, you know, it's normal sometimes. But his mother, on the other hand, She's devastated. Of course, they're shaking up and, and a little shaky, but overall, they knew that by the grace of God, they was trusted and he had his angels protecting them. And both of those parents who we spoke with and others also invariably with the same question as to why. Why did he come here? Why did he have a weapon? How did he access? All of those questions still essentially unanswered. I did go to Brandon Ned's home here in the Dallas area earlier this afternoon, knocked on the door, received an answer from a family member. They declined to comment on any, on any of this for the time being, I'm told. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. Steve, we are hoping we get some answers, but we are still so grateful today that those kids are physically okay.